Hello my fellow viewers, Reaper here with another YouTube video. This one is about arcanes. This will probably be a pretty quick video like the last one whenever I was talking to you guys about the relics. Arcanes, they're not really tricky unless you don't know anything about them. Now, in order to obtain an arcane, what you've got to do is do a raid. Now, Jordan's Verdict, Nightmare Lore, so on and so forth. Those are raids. So for instance, Lore, Law of Retribution, Nightmare. I can get an arcane from this. Now, the Nightmare mode is for more valuable arcanes. Harder arcanes, better arcanes, such as Arcane Grace, instead of an Arcane Trickery, which I'll show you guys the differences here in a minute. But uh, there's Nightmare Lore, and then there's Normal Lore, which is right here, and so on. Um, they are planning to making a Nightmare Jordan's Verdict, but that hasn't launched yet, if I remember right. However, in order to uh, even launch a lore, what you need is a, a raid key. So you go over here to key, which you can buy these in the market, under keys and so on and so forth. And they're pretty cheap. But to build them, they take a little bit of resources. Which, these are the three that are out right now. I don't know why I have that one because I've already completed that quest, but okay. But yeah, those are the three keys you can get to. So, this is where cosmetics, I guess you would say, on either a cape or a helmet. So, uh, let's see here. If you press R3 on your remote, which is the right analog stick, it'll launch you to your arcane menu. There's arcane trickery. I have two of them. So, rank one on finisher, 2% chance to become invisible for five seconds and if you have ten of them it'll give you a, the rank four on finisher ten percent chance to become invisible for thir for twenty seconds and an arcane revive so instead of getting four revives you get or instead of getting uh, three or four revives you get five and on top of that you also get this extra boost that could send you invisible when you get do a finisher so arcane trickery it is pretty useful because if you do a lot of stealth missions or whatnot and if you're rocking Loki or something like that, you can save your energy upon using Arcane Trickery. Or Ash, for say. Um, now, <clears throat> let's say you accidentally put an Arcane on a helmet that you wish that you didn't do. That's cool. This is where your sentiments come in. Now, what you want to do is you want to max your standing out with these guys. So, for instance, let's use Arbiters real quick. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And... Bada bing bada boom, arcane distiller. If you buy one of these, you can take off the arcane or arcanes on that one individual item. However, it will destroy the distiller in a process, but you still have your arcanes and you can replace them on any cape or whatever. So you want those. And each one of these gives gives you the arcane distiller. There's there's no reason why one's better than the other on the arcane distiller, because for instance the red vel, they hate me. But however, you can still get that arcane distiller. And different weapons, of course. But, um... So... Cosmetics-wise. So if you go over here to your foundry, and I'm playing on PlayStation, if you're at Microsoft, you know, the square is going to be your X button. But if you press square, aka X, for Microsoft, you will see that you go into your, um cosmetics which cosmetics means basically fashion like fashion frame so on and so forth so Loki prime helmet if I was rocking this helmet or this helmet or this helmet or this 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 or this or this you can put an arcane on it <coughs> which you can have two arcanes on one character at a time as of now until they do more changes to it or whatnot but it's either helmet or the uh, attachments which, as you can see, Arcane, Mizza, Prime, Sandana. Well, that's because I have Arcane Grace on this. And it will tell you, um, if you look over here, for instance, on this Abyss one, I, you don't see anything underneath the, on the right side where you see the name and what it basically gives you. It's, I guess, Onslaught or whatnot. But um, this, on another hand, gives you the information about what this cloak's all about, its lore and all that. And then it tells you about the arcane on damage, 6% chance for a 4% health regeneration per second for 6 seconds, and an arcane revive. That's because I have 10 of arcane graces. So arcanes do play a very, very valuable role 
in a game because they can boost your character to an insane amount. But if you want further information on arcanes, you come to your codex, go to universe, and go down to relics and arcanes. Here, it'll tell you from what you've got first off. And as you can see, arcane grace. Let's look at that for a second. And then arcane trickery. Look, and it'll tell you how many I have owned. There's two there. And then that's being used, but I have ten. So, let's say you don't have any arcanes. That's cool. Come down here. This entire list of arcanes for you. So you can check up on each one of these are arcanes and what they do. Like this one resists cold. Cool, cool, cool. But I want a fire one. So arcane, ice, or whatever. 10% 10 10 chance to resist heat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I can go with a cold and fire. That's pretty wise. Because, like, let's say you're going up against Grenier or something. Fire, I think, would be the only one that would actually benefit you in that situation, unless you're in like a cold climate. But then there's arcane healing, and that's radiation damage, resistance, anyways. And then arcane guardian, get more armor. Uh, arcane fury is one that I'm currently after, and if I can find it, arcane fury. Ah, there it is. So arcane fury. On critical hit, 5% chance for a 10% melee damage to melee weapons for 3 seconds. However, if you completely max it out, 15% chance for a 30% melee damage of melee weapons for 9 seconds. Now you might think, oh dude, it's only 9 seconds, how's that going to benefit me? Now, that's where your build comes into play. If you got like a straight crit weapon with this arcane, you're doing an insane amount of damage. Like, if you're constantly doing critical damage, you're going to be wrecking. This is how you take on level thousands plus. These arcanes play a vital role in your playstyle because it can either make you stronger or it can nerf you. What I mean by nerf is like screw your gameplay up where you're not either used to it, which when you first play and use an arcane, some of it might be like, what, 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 what does that mean? Blah, 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 blah. But if you know if it's in effect, it'll show the arcane symbol right underneath your name or right beside your name and health and all that but um yeah so do check out these arcanes keep in mind you can only get these arcanes in raids so when you do get your hands on these arcanes by all means also relics you can also look at the relics here as well these codexes are pretty awesome and they tell you which you can get from them and where they drop and all that but <clears throat> Anywho, um, that's it for this video. Um, be sure to give me, you know, your thoughts. Tell me if it's helped you, and if it, and if this is what you were looking for, and it has helped you. Hit that like and subscribe button. The more support you show, the more videos I'll throw out. Um, last video, if I remember right, was about um, relics and how to gain prime gear. So the next video will probably be all about this codex thing right here and sentiments or something along those lines. But um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else because I already told you about the arcanes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Um, oh yeah, do keep in mind arcanes are tradable and you can also sell them for plat. Like some arcanes you got to watch out for, for instance like arcane strike or I mean arcane fury. I've seen those arcanes go from anywhere from 300 platinum a piece, and keep in mind you need 10 to have the best stack, or the best stats, my bad. So imagine paying 300 times 10, that's 3,000 platinum. So farming is probably the better solution in this instance. However, of course you need a proper raid team and all that, which there will be eventually a video about how they run lore and how to do Jordan's Verdict and ba da ba da ba and the differentials between them and all that. But that's not now, nor later, because right now this is just the straight basic tutorials. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. Reaper signing off. You guys have a lovely day.